I got a new hat. And that's not the only new thing today. You can't see it, but there's a red breast sunfish and he's just like kind of looking at me and he's really distracting. What's up everybody, it's Luke. And today I am out at one of my favorite stretches of the creek, going to be trying out a new lure. So a while ago, um, someone I know, Carter, hope you're watching, suggested I try um, one of, I guess it's one of his favorite lures. It's called Joe's Flies. It's a little inline spinner with, yeah, it looks like a fly on it too. So, <clears throat> went out the other day, got this, and we're gonna give it a whirl. Um, so, I'm gonna get that rigged up and we'll see you in a second. Thanks for tuning in, bye. All right, all tied up, ready to go. So, um, before we do that, let's just talk about what this thing is. So it's an inline spinner, but it's a little bit different than a lot of the inline spinners you see out there. Um, it's got your typical, what was that, like an Indiana blade on it. Probably thumps a lot. Um, little feathers to kind of attract at the hook end. It's got a single hook, about size, I don't know, six or eight, but then attached to that with a few loops of fairly heavy monofilament, it looks like. Got a tiny little you know, stinger treble hook. Um, probably helps with the short strikes. <laughs> one of the cool things about this one, I don't know if we can see it, but you can take the fly off and switch it out. So what I bought, it's like a, a three pack of um, Joe's Fly spinners, uh, different colors. Well, the wire and the and the, the blade, all the same color, kind of brassy, copper, whatever. Um, the fly part is different color. So, you know, you can try, um, it's kind of nice. You don't have to retie totally if you're gonna, you know, change colors and whatnot. So, here we go. First cast. Um, it's a little light. <laughs> uh, spins well. You can really feel that blade kind of thump on the <clears throat> when it spins. All right, nice. Ignored by a couple of red breast sunfish entirely, but that's. All right, a lot of people probably fish here, so let's kind of head down. Cool. Ooh, there was a bite. Oh, there we go. There's that first fish, and it's a... Nice smallmouth. Wow. It's been a while. Okay, so um geez. Don't come off. Yeah. Um it's been probably a half hour. I've had a lot of fish kind of follow. Take some swipes at this. Um, but nothing. I varied my retrieve. There's, there's a large mouth right there too. Um, varied my retrieve, changed things up a little bit. Um, but man, nothing. But geez, finally. Um, let's see. Yeah, without getting hooked. Come here. All right, gotcha. Um, not bad. Still got a little bit of breeding, spawning colors on them. Um, got both hooks too, actually. So. The big single hook right in the corner of the mouth, which you want. And then that little treble. Uh, there we go. All right. Finally, that's not bad. Um, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Nice little smallmouth bass. First fish on Joe's flies. Oh! Awesome. Well, cool. Um, I was starting to wonder if that was gonna happen. Uh, there are a ton of fish in this creek. Um, Y'all aren't gonna see anything, but in the water, decently clear, despite all the rain that we've had in the last couple of days. But man, I've seen lots of largemouth. That was the first smallmouth. A um, couple of rainbow trout, bluegill, red breast sunfish, green sunfish, all of those have followed this, um, but nothing yet. Uh, geez, and a lot of white suckers too. 
didn't bring any worms, unfortunately. And we're just gonna fish with this. Whether we catch fish or not, we've caught one, so there we go. We're on the board. One fish on Joe's flies. <laughs> this number two. Oh, I pulled a little bit. That's a bluegill. Bluegill now on Joe's flies. Oh no. That's a well there. I don't think it was in it though. Okay. Oh, what's that? This guy's been caught before. All right, bluegill, Joe's flies, going back. Gotcha. There we go. That was a steady retrieve. <laughs> um, and okay. Our third species, is it? Yeah, our third species of the day. It's a green sunfish. Not a bad, chunky little green sunfish. Yeah, that um, little stinger hook in the back is what made that one happen. No, oh, no, 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 no. Okay. All right. Fish number three, green sunfish. Fish number three, species number three. Cool. All right. <clears throat> Well, it took a little while, but we're starting to figure it out. Oof, oof. That was a trout. I think that was a brown trout. A... Oh, man, that's a big one. Uh... <laughs> he made a couple of swipes at it. Yep, and another. He's just trying to kill it. Gotcha. Oh, <laughs> dang, that brown trout. Yeah, that was like third or fourth time. Almost had him. Almost. I don't think he's coming back. He felt the hook that time. Oh, something though. Man. So I changed the fly out. Again, that's another cool thing about these. Um, it was a little tricky staying in the middle of the creek where you couldn't put your rod down but um <clears throat> snapped out the black fly switch it for this kind of red yellow a little bit of brown fly um i don't know caught three fish on the first one right wow, what is that uh smallmouth bluegill green sunfish let's see if we can find a few more with this color there's one more color after that um so yeah i guess that's what we'll do we'll just Catch a few fish, switch it up, see which one works the best. Um, oh, there we go. Find some footing here. Okay, new color, going, going out. Ah, there we go. <laughs> nice bluegill. Jeez, that is a really nice one. Cool. Um, well, a round guy. <clears throat> um, he's not like super long, but he's got some thickness to him. Cool. Uh, he followed it once, I threw right back where he was, and he took it the second time. All right, oh, bluegill, going back. <laughs> Oh, wow. Yeah, he came from a while, a ways away. There's another small mouth, I think. Oh, shoot, he got off. That was a nice one. I threw right there. He came, he was right here. He came all that way for it. Dang. <laughs> a 
And, oh, hey, it's our first. <laughs> nice little guy, but <clears throat> first red breast. Yeah, wow, that, that back little stinger hook is kind of saving the day for us, at least as far as Joe's flies are concerned. Um, <laughs> little red breast sunfish going back. Yeah, whatever, I dropped it. Okay, so the species count, not bad, not bad. Um, I like to f catch a few more, uh, just number-wise. Um, oh, oh. <laughs> another red breast. Little, but another red breast, cool. <laughs> All right, back you go. Well, this spot's really different. Um, last year, very little of that was here. The tree was there. There's a nice pole right there. Harry and I fished this once. Uh, I don't know how many fish he caught right here, but it was a lot. But yeah, it's hmm, really different because the water now is kind of just going right that way. The water before, didn't really flow over this much. It came like on a bend around and kind of past that. So it's gonna be a bit, oh, there's already a bite. A bit different. Ah, there's still fish in there. Something went at it right away. Oh, they're coming right out of there we go. Oh, and that's a green sunfish. Okay, <clears throat> little guys. <laughs> Oof, they're almost on it as soon as it hits the water. Something. There we go. Uh, what do we have? It's <laughs> a little smallmouth. Very little. Something bigger came out of the shadows and missed it, and then this guy picked it up. Uh, okay, a little smallie going back. Oh, got one. Yeah, okay, what do we have now? And, oh, all right, species number five is a creek chub. You got the big hook. Okay, well, there's a creek chub. Five species on Joe's flies. Sweet. Okay, so now, hmm, I am going to change this fly out for that last one. It's like a bright orange and yellow. All right, back in a second. Okay, changed it up. Um, this is the last one. This one's got a bit bulkier body, uh, kind of a fluffy bit of yellow and a yarn or whatever and some orange feathers. Uh, that could be pretty good attracting wise. This water might be a little clear for that, but let's just see. Um, oh, got him. There we go. <clears throat> and is this... That's a nice creek chub. Wow. <laughs> First cast on that one got us, man, a pretty big creek chub. He's pretty too. He's got some like kind of extra, he's got a lot of parasites, but he's got a little bit of extra kind of yellow green along that, um, above and below that stripe. Okay. All right. <clears throat> creek chub, number two. Big one, going back. Get out of here. There we go. Uh, 
And that's another small mouth. Okay. I thought there were some bigger fish, but I think <clears throat> there was at least one big one under there. And he kind of already took a swipe at it. Missed. And so I don't think it's coming back. Even if I did switch colors up. All right. So uh, not a bad. Well, no, that was a tiny, tiny little smallmouth going back. Oh, wow. This right here <clears throat> used to be a really nice spot. Um, and it's totally different. Wow. So what we used to have right here, <clears throat> the river channel went right up to those trees, flowed right into them and then took a hard 90 degree bend and then went that way. And so at the base of these trees, it was a really kind of deep hole. Uh, and there was some wood, some undercut bank, and a ton of fish. Now, it's mostly filled in with gravel, although there is some, oh man. And I've got, <laughs> yeah, this lure is just not gonna work for something like that. Uh, well, dang, I was looking forward to this. I can still throw around, but man, huh. That's crazy. Oh, geez. Oh. <laughs> um, he chased it out of the water. Bite. Okay, I am out of time. But it was a pretty good day overall. Uh, the goal for the day was to try out Joe's flies. They were, um, it was a lure that somebody suggested I give a, give a try. Um, and Carter, thanks for that. That was a, yeah, I enjoyed it. They worked. Um, Ended up catching five of the six species that I was hoping to catch along this stretch of the creek. The only thing we didn't get was a largemouth bass. What we did get, smallmouth bass, bluegill, green sunfish, red breast sunfish, creek chub. The um, rainbow trout and the brown trout, those were kind of bonuses. I wasn't expecting them to be in the creek at this point because it's getting a little late into the summer. So all in all, yeah, not a bad day. Um, and considering it was the first time I've ever fished with it, you know, like any other lure, um, you, you build up skill with it over time. So, and I, I'm not the greatest uh, inline spinners, anyways. So, um, yeah, I was. Yeah, I, I'd use them again. So, yeah, Joe's flies. Didn't for this. Joe's flies. Give them a try. <laughs> But, okay, yeah, again, Carter, thanks for the suggestion. Everyone else, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I had fun doing it. And we'll see you all again sometime soon. Bye, everybody. That red-breast sunfish is still looking at me. <laughs>